Um, yeah, I come from sort of an artistic background. Um, my mum, um, his wife from here, um, she's sort of in the painting and photography, sort of thing. My dad's side, it's always been textiles, um, embroidery, surface design. So I sort of come from both of those backgrounds and I do both. So I'm a sort of textile artist and I'm also a painter, so I mix media in. There's really not enough, we feel, art in Birmingham and we would like to see more of it. Fantastic. Yeah. So, wow. so that, that's where so we're it's kind of like you're sort of celebrating uh, you know, mixed culture. Yes. That's oh. exactly, yeah. I mean, and we're not saying that we're, yeah, we're just, um, we're not from here. We've got, you know, white artists yeah, as well. Yeah, so we're yeah. saying we're all different backgrounds. But a lot of us are um, from two different backgrounds. Like we've got, um, Greek British artists and we've got um, Colombian British artists and um, we've got um, Cuban and a couple of links. <laughs> So I don't necessarily plan um, what I'm going to do to the nth degree. I don't, for instance, some people might go to Photoshop and do things there, they might do collage beforehand. I, I sketch, but I sketch with paint. So I have sketchbooks, but they're full of paint work. Then I take any ideas I get from there and I, I'll sort of then approach the canvas. What goes onto the canvas is really how I feel, what experience I've had. Um, with this whole return called landscape, it, it's it's, um, it's all developed from something I did previously to do with pixelation, to do with sort of, um, squares, living in the box, that sort of thing, it's breaking free. So okay. here, it's again, there's a interesting yeah, yeah. Yeah. piece of artwork. Yeah. Because if you look, I mean, there's kind of like a grid formation there, but um, it's actually called landscape. And, and it's, it's sort of all to do with um, how we live. I mean, we do live free, if you like. But, we are kind of restricted. yeah restricted by ourselves in a way uh, how we live. Yeah. For instance, um, things like I mean, it, it goes really into the world. I mean, you could sort of take something like um, recycling, yeah. small like that, and say, well, well, how much can you contribute? You can only do so much because you're you're in this fix. You know, you, you know, you need to have a duffel car. You have to, you know, you have to eat junk food sometimes. You know, it's, it's like that. So it's like, even though you're restricted, it's how you can maybe get yourself out of it, change things, even in a small way, to sort of get outside the box really. But you can continue to be within it. And my work in the end, it, at the moment, um, it, it, it does, it, it is a grid. I mean, all of my work at the moment has been squares and grids. Uh, and, it, and it's all to do with, I suppose, how, how we live, how I live. I, I always try to live. Uh, you know, a full, happy, um, eco-friendly life, etc. But I like the word Rothko, Mark Rothko. 
Um, I mean, he uses a lot of squares in his work. Um, so obviously, I'm going to be drawn to that because that's what I've been working on, sort of the idea of the square. But um, but also I like Kandinsky, again, it's really colour I think that I like, and I'm drawn to artists who actually use a lot of colour. So I like Fabulous artists as well because they use a lot of colour in their work. Um, but then I like the control, perhaps that Kand Kandinsky used. I mean, his was sort of musical art, wasn't it? You know, sort of music and painting. So, um, so I like that approach as well. It's something from within him, and I think that's that's where I come from as well. It's how it, whatever I'm experiencing, whatever I feel. That's what goes on to the canvas. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's uh, the same for a lot of artists. Yeah, definitely.